Hi everyone. A few weeks ago I did a video describing my 11 and a half inch SBR and so now I wanted to take the time to do that for my uh, my 16 inch gun with my LPVO. We're gonna go from the muzzle to the butt. First of all I have a YHM turbo. It's the same one that I put on my 11 and a half. I only have one. Under that is a YHM flash hider. Then this upper is a factory BCM upper, 16 inch middle length gas system. I don't know if you can see that there. I really like these BCM rail panels and the BCM angled foregrip thing. I do think that this upper is a little over gassed because it can be a little punchy, especially when I shoot it suppressed. However, I do really like it. Then I've just got an arrow lower, pretty standard. These mags I really like. They're kind of new to me. These are Surefeed 20 rounders and I'm kind of a, I really like FDE and I like this deeper FDE color. BCM grip, uh, there's a BCM complete bolt carrier group in here. Then this is the LaRue MBT trigger. I really, really like these triggers. They're a fraction of the cost of a Geisley trigger and they deliver 98% of the performance. They're about $90. I really, really recommend them. Uh, on here, I have the, uh, the BCM slash Voltor A5 system. That smooths out the recoil. Just your basic CTR buttstock. Nice and simple. Um, I, and then a BCM gunfighter charging handle. I like those a lot. Then, this is a primary arms one to six with the ACSS reticle. I really, really like the scope. I've made pretty easy hits out to 500 yards with it um, using the ACSS reticle. This mount is also a primary arms mount. I've had both the scope and the mount for six years. They've been very nice. Um, it is heavy. The glass clarity is not as good as something more expensive, but as you can see, in six years I've put this through the ringer. I've dunked it in a bucket full of soapy water after stripping paint off to scrub more paint off. It's been banged around. I've never had a problem with it. That being said, I think I do want to get a new LPVO, a new low power variable scope, because for the first time I'm finally able to shoot at longer ranges and finally the glass clarity is becoming a, a little bit of an impediment. And uh, this week we just had a night shoot with the boys from uh, Pew Pew Solutions, really great gun group in Utah. And so we did a night shoot. I had a, a streamlight mounted right here. Uh, I had a little bit of a problem with the M-Lock, so I, I took it off. But I had the, the illumination on this scope is not amazing. The entire uh, reticle illuminates, and it makes it a little hard to use because it's so busy. That plus the glass clarity and low light conditions made it a, made it a challenge. But the whole, the whole thing is pretty long with the suppressor, which wasn't too bad during our night shoot. And I'd much rather shoot suppressed than non-suppressed. And it's pretty nice now that all my, uh, all my buddies out here are, are also getting suppressors. So there's one, one last look at it. Nice gun. You'll be seeing more of it.